Hello guys, thank you for using Arc. In this video, I will show you the basics and how to work with it. Firstly, I would recommend you to activate the license and uh, fill this dashboard. <clears throat> anyway, I will walk you through the main options, how to use Arc, and uh, I will recommend you to watch this video. It will take you approximately 10 minutes. And after watching this, everything should be clear. We will start with the Fresh Builder. I will go to the pages and uh, yeah, this is clean WordPress install. I just installed Arc. I will hit the add new page and fill it like a test page for Fresh Builder. Uh, I will hit the publish button and uh, start with the Fresh Builder. I hit the green Fresh Builder button. It's loading now uh, for, the, for the first time. It takes a few seconds. It will be much better after this. And we're he here we have a few options how to start. I can insert empty section with one column, two columns, three columns and four columns. This is bootstrap grid section, which is for professionals. And this is add element, add section. I will add a few sections from library. I will start with uh, about us, about, yeah, this blue one. Uh, after that, I will add some process, this one. And after that, I will add, uh, I will add, uh, Give me a second. Uh, after that, I will add uh, some contact form. For example, this one. When I hit the quick save button, the quick save button is a pretty cool magic button. It saves the page and automatically refreshes the front end if you have opened it. And this the test page look exactly like uh, when we designed it and it does not have the full bit layout so first important thing if you scroll down there is the meta box where you can handle layout basically for the builder you would need the full body layout or full body with title bar just change the layout hit the quick save go back and the layout is full body this is title bar by the way here is navigation menu, here is the process contact form and footer. On a single page uh, you can also change a lot of things like header, title bar, footer. We deliver like 15 predefined headers, two title bars and many footers. I will add, uh, I will set different header, I don't know, def uh, default map, hit a quick save. The page has been refreshed automatically. Yeah, Google API key not found in order to make map element work. You need to input your Google API key in Deem options. So basically, it's in you know, Arc Deem options. But uh, I will leave it to the inherit layout. Hit a quick save, and it works. So this was uh, some basic layouting. What I will show you next is some editing with the Fresh Builder. Here is the Our Process title. I will change it to something else. So I go to the Builder, find uh, Our Process, hit a click button, and uh, I can, of course, drag and drop these things. So I just switch them, hit a quick save, and as you can see, these two has been switched. Uh, I will write, uh, I don't know, hello world here, hit a quick save, as you can see it has been changed and uh, magic happens with these pencils, I will hit the pencil and it allows you to style this uh, part of the heading, you can set background layers, padding margins, I will set some huge, ma huge padding to make it more Obvious, I will set padding top like 50 and padding bottom like 50. Hit a quick save, go back to the page, and here is the huge padding. A lot of other things margin, borders, box shadow, 
yeah, you should definitely uh, go through this. Typography option, I can set text color, I will set it to red to make it more obvious. Hit a quick save. It's red. Uh, I can also write element style. This will be inserted di directly into the element. It will be hard coded in you know, inline styles. A lot of options here. You can even insert some custom style, custom HTML attributes, set ID and CSS class. And of course, don't forget the CSS codes just by hitting the plus button. Uh, there is a CSS editor. Here is unique CSS class. You don't have to insert it. Just uh, uh, the, the arc team will handle this for you. You can hit the delete here and uh, done. And of course, uh, all these options are available to the whole element as well or to its parts. So when I change it, uh, this is how the page looks like out of the box. Uh, I will show you how to uh, how to another important concept how to edit your site which is sitemap I'll go to the sitemap and I will open a different page for this sitemap uh, is another magic piece I will open the sample page view this is sample page it has a header title bar content and footer uh, I'm in the sitemap and uh, I'm just editing the page template. Oh, as you can see, there is a builder and uh, the builder contains featured area, post title, post content, comment form. Uh, I can, I will disable the post title to make it more obvious when I hit a quick save. The sample page has been refreshed and the title is missing here. I can enable the title back. By the way, I can do it by hitting T, which is toggle. And uh, I can, uh, here's featured area, post content. Post content has a lot of options. So I will show you how to add a sidebar if you need. Usually you can just uh, switch uh, predefined layouts. It's like two sidebars, default page plug, full body, sidebar left, sidebar right, and others, and others, and others. But uh, yeah, we figured out this for you. But if you want to make sidebar, just make the column smaller. I will use the shortcut buttons, which is A. Uh, I added a new column. I will click the plus, pass, hit a sidebar, and inserted the sidebar here. Hit a quick save. And as you can see, this page uh, appears now smaller, the content, and here is the sidebar. I can drag and drop the sidebar to the, to the left side, hit a quick save, and the sidebar has been in left. <laughs> Obviously, you can, uh, uh, the sidebar should be in the right, and you should push and pull it by bootstrap columns to the, to the left, but we will leave that to the professionals. I will delete the sidebar. I can hit R, R key for remove and confirm it if it's if it's spacebar. Make it full width. In this sitemap thing, uh, you can edit block archive, block single, portfolio archive, portfolio single, search results, and 404 page. Uh, if you install the multi language plugin, uh, options for your languages will appear here here as well. And if you install uh, WooCommerce options for WooCommerce will appear here as well. Uh, what is another important part is sidebars. You can un create unlimited amount of sidebars. Uh, headers. We, def uh, we delivery arc with uh, like uh, 15 predefined headers. Uh, these all default. And by hitting the plus button, you can create just your own header. Basically, when you will be handling, handling headers, uh, the main business is here, this switcher, it allows you to switch uh, between three header types and just carefully lead, uh, read these descriptions because uh, it will lead you to the right way. Uh, you can of course uh, 
customize every header color, which is pretty useful when you are doing black page or something like this. Uh, we, we can set many title bars. Uh, we can create many footers. All these three things, header, title bars, and footers, uh, can be assigned in a sitemap when you click the layout settings. There is a default header, you will, it will be applied for every page, default title bar and default footer. Uh, these three values are, are also changeable in a post, post settings, post writing page. So you can actually change them there. And uh, which left us deem options. Not much to set in a deem options because uh, basically having uh, enormous deem options is a sign that the uh, sign that the page is not, the deem is not designed good. So page loader, loader, other things you can change the color skin and accents. You can add custom fonts here. Uh, you can add icon fonts, enable and disable your icon fonts, change the portfolio slugs, and insert the Google Map key. And of course, uh, if you go to the demo install, there are the main demos, and you just hit the install button, and it will be automatically installed. <clears throat> there is no need to make. Uh, there is no need to make uh, your PHP execution time faster because it has been divided into chunks and refresh it via JavaScript so everything is comfortable. And I don't have to forget the templates parts. Templates are basically uh, small chunks of your design which could be inserted anywhere through the template element. And uh, this template element uh, will uh, be basically created from these uh, from this template templates so i guess uh, this was this was some kind of introduction if you have any questions just don't hesitate to contact us and start building your website i hope everything is loud and clear and you will enjoy working with arc thank you